This training will make your Facebook ad and TikTok ad targeting much more accurate. You're gonna have a much better understanding of how to target, how to target your Facebook with and your TikTok with your creative, which is the most important thing. And it will only be more important as we go. As you probably have seen Facebook, they are moving a lot of interest stuff. So this applies how you can target with your creative, which is the most important thing because it doesn't really matter what you're gonna target from an audience standpoint. If you don't have your target on point with your creative, your ads won't convert. So when I actually realized this whole training and process that I'm just gonna guide you today, like you're gonna get more profitable ads, you're gonna lower your ad cost, all by just implementing these simple frameworks that I'm gonna teach you in this video. So let's jump in as you can see I have multiple results here so you can see that this, this actually works and it's the only way that you can actually see to you know three, five, ten, fifteen K a day in a considerable amount of scale and reach six figures and seven figures most consistently and beyond. Because again, this will actually show you how you can unlock new levels of scale because this, this is the number one key when actually going about scaling. No, not the number one key, but one of the most important keys at least. So again, who am I? Let me just guide you through a bit who am I? I guess, so that you know that you actually, you know, I'm actually doing this stuff. Uh, I'm a growth consultant. I have generated over $25 million in sales. I'm overseeing current over 500K a month in ad spend. I'm a senior media buyer as well. And I'm overseeing a lot of accounts. I've worked with multiple six, seven, even eight figure businesses and seven figure agencies. Point being, I'm seeing a lot of data. Let me actually jump into the training. So you might be in different communities, you're watching different videos and stuff, saying people, you know, go broad or, you know, going broad is the number one nowadays right now. But let's actually dive in because nobody actually explains that. And I had the same, you know, thought process myself and I was really confused. You know, go broad is the key, but it is not really the key that go broad. It's actually what you, you know, what you're targeting with your creative because you can have a broad audience, like no targeting, but still not hitting the KPIs and be unprofitable because again, you're not targeting the right and you have you don't have the message right how do you do that now this is the key here message driven targeting this is the number one key that will lower your ad cost increase your profits from your ads you need to have a process how you approach your creatives from a messaging standpoint and as i as I like to, to actually say here you have message driven targeting this will be key for you guys super super important i can't stress that enough i hope you actually take that out of the video i know it's not gonna be like some fancy tactic video but super important to be honest so messaging should be spot on from the start, especially post size 14. Again, Facebook obviously has much, much less data coming back to the algorithm. So you need from the start to target the right people you're creative. You know, there was a point obviously that you could target very specifically through an audience and get, you know, a very, very good result to be honest. But you know, these times, you know, are slowly you know, fading away. There's nothing wrong with that, just the evolution of paid advertising. So we need to adapt here. And just again, naming top of funnel a like campaign doesn't mean if you're targeting top of funnel. Because again, I'm saying that very passionately because I actually did it myself. And I was just naming top of funnel. It's like, oh yeah, that's top of funnel, obviously. But I have no idea just like, you know, putting random creative into the campaign and I have no idea about how this all ties together. So let me actually explain in a more visual format. So we got obviously bottom funnel, people are solution aware, bottom funnel, the problem aware, top funnel, the problem unaware. So this Eugene Schwartz, five levels of awareness, amazing, amazing, you know, book, much better of any like training, and of course you're gonna get it out there from a marketing standpoint at the moment. So obviously go get the book, but it basically just guides you through five levels of awareness. Obviously people, uh, I wanna, there will be different awareness levels or people in your market will be in different uh, awareness levels so we need to hit them and treat them differently and this this ties together with the top of funnel middle of funnel bottom of funnel thing that we just discussed so as you can see the most and highest profitable you can get is people who obviously are already most aware of, of your solution and the solution to to their problem so they just need a product or service that you know does much better things that that type of competition or getting the result faster. So you can see this will be a bottom funnel audience, but it can still be top of funnel. So it's not like a retargeting audience. It's just new people, obviously, but they're much much more warm. Thinking like 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 a Google traffic. They they actually interested. They're actually searching for it. They know about it. Bottom funnel is you know most problem unaware. They they actually have a problem and they're aware of it, but they don't know that the exact solution. So again, it's a bit more broad, there are more people in those audiences. To find out, you know, completely problem unaware, they don't even know they have this issue or they are, you know, that, you know, very specific that they, that this issue they're actually having. Uh, so let me actually explain this further. So I, I just actually targeting the right audience. So that's like what you need to actually focus on. So if you are spending 
less than 1k a day, I would say, in ad spend, you need to focus on being profitable and it has in 10 highest convert. Obviously, this could be the smaller audience of the whole pie, let's say, of customers that you could actually target with your ads. Like for example, here the messaging that actually could work on an ad. This is the most effective home workout program for men above 40 to fix knee pain. So let's actually dive deeper on that. They know that a home workout program will actually fix their knee uh, pain. And we could directly target men above 40. Again, they, we know that they, they know that you know a home workout is a solution here. So we, we introduce like the most effective home workout program. So again, people know the, the solution. We're targeting it around the customers. We just you know bring in a better solution to, to the table. So again, if you're spending 1K less a day, focus on the highest intent, highest converting. Then as you scale, and this is how we all tie together, as we scale budget, we need to involve our messaging to hit different segments of the audience. Because as you can imagine, this might be like 5% of the whole market. Obviously, you can get like very profitable and depending on your market size and so on and so forth. You can obviously reach like 3 or 4K a day maybe uh, with just high intent. But after a point, you're going to fatigue those customers you know, all those audiences. Uh, you're gonna hit like a ceiling. Then we need to approach our target a bit differently. So then we have the average intent problem aware people. So dealing with any pain, try this or this, this, this or this is not your average home workout program. So we're introducing like this solution. That obviously that's an amazing messaging or headline, just probably like as an example. But again, we know that they know they have a problem. We just try to introduce like the solution here. And then obviously much broader, lowest intent, lowest converting, because we need to, you know, we need to get them to believe that our solution or we need first of all to make them aware that they have a problem and then make them buy our solution and that they need this solution to fix their problem that they obviously initially they didn't know about. So are you feeling slow or it's hard to walk like you used to at times? Then we can introduce, for example, I was actually dealing with knee pain myself, but I didn't know um, like that I was dealing with the issue until I discovered, for example, this home workout issue that I fixed everything and restored my work or whatever. Obviously, it's not ideal examples again, but you give a good, you know, a, a bit of a good top level standpoint of how all this ties together. If you're spending 1K days in Aspen, focus the most aware, highest converting, highest intent audiences the smallest audience but more probable to convert again more like google targeting or bottom funnel solution we're targeting so think about google we think about google like a like a remarket on very warm traffic it's the same on paid media on on paid social if you target with your creative people who again know they have the problem and know that this solution is their solution to their problem but they just need you know, a bit of a selling and a more efficient way to get there. It just, you know, people already know that people are, are, are actually warm. And this will actually get you profitable fast. So get profitable fast, then move into higher levels. So how do we know what's resonating? Okay, that all sounds great, Harry. It makes a lot of sense. We need to go about messaging as we scale. But how do we know what's resonating at the start, at, you know, the middle finance level, the bottom finance level? So, First of all, research. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I didn't provide like a very easy solution for you guys, but research. I have an eight-step process. I might do a separate video of that. Obviously, not won't be that sexy, but sort of got nine times out of ten, the biggest bold ideas people are targeting with you know just random stuff that, that they have in their mind that their customer want. And don't go and actually in the research process see the reviews, see like use chat GPT, use reviews, use Amazon, use competitor products, ads and stuff to find some recent messages uh, at each stage of the funnel. So you need to research. I have an eight step again, full in depth process that I go into my new clients and my coaching client. And by the way, if you want more direct help from me, I'm gonna have a link below. You can book a call with me. I guarantee you more profitable ads in 90 days or less actually. And if you and if you're not a good fit, I'm just gonna show you some cool stuff in the call. So then test through single ad variable isolation method. Now this is one of the key principles I like to go in my creative testing process. Basically isolating each variable uh, of our testing. So we know what's working, we make progress. For example, we like to have or I like to have for example, I like to test five different headlines in the exact exact static, for example, so we can see what's resonating. A very low budget, so again, we can see what's resonating at each stage of the funnel. Because obviously, like now, for example, in the home workout knee pain example that I just gave, they might just not have any pain, they might have like a different, you know, pain in the joints, or, or they might not phrase it like that, they might just speak it like that. So, we need to like find what our customers really, really want. If you want to record performance, you might you know, just maybe start scaling, you don't see the results you want. Obviously, there'll be a lot of factors that might be going into that, but the, the, the first one you think you need to, you need to do is see your creative. 
are you targeting the right kind of audience? If you don't, go back to the highest converting audience. And obviously, this is one layer to scalability here, like the whole thing. But really have the thing, what is the way to write bottom funnel copy and ads to top of funnel campaign? And then you are not limited with audience, but you have ability to write copy and ads. Now, this is super important. I want to just have a couple of seconds here just to read away on that. Again, if you, if you really, really understand this, I, I, I highly, highly, highly suggest go back to this video from the start one more time. If you get this right and you craft your copy and ads script, in the same way, you you don't really limit it with audience. If you have enough broad bro, bro enough audiences, like the broad demo or some interest tags or some lookalike tags, it's more than enough to find the people that you want. It's more like the messaging and targeting on your ad creative itself does the whole job and the whole level. So if you don't restrict Facebook using like broad audiences, like people say, but have the right ad script, yes, this is how you scale. Again, as you can see here, you're not limited with audiences, you're only limited with your capacity and your creativity and your research process to craft winning creatives. So other forms of the messaging driven aggregating using the ad their customer avatar, right demo in your ads. So if you, you have any video ads or any startups that you know depict people or something, make sure to you know have depicted like the typical person that would buy your product. Super important, super actually fundamental thing here, but it almost never happens. Also, as I said before, use the words that your customer would use. Obviously, you know your customer, you should know your customer more than anybody else. So make sure you use, you know, the exact words that they use. Might be just a slang, might be just a different phrase that they use. And use location, background scenes of their life again. There's some other forms, some other like nuances more like to like the better words. To include your ad creatives, your concepts here to really hit hit that hit that hard. So that was a beautiful day. Hope you so hope you really enjoyed it. So I, so I hope you enjoyed it. Highly highly recommend we we watching this at this level and just take notes. And if you need more direct help from me, I have some links in the description. Again, book a call. I guarantee you results or you don't pay. But if not, just keep watching. I have a lot of videos that will guide you and really help you make more profitable ads. So thanks a lot. Have a good day, guys.